Hey y'all, it's Andrea over at SoSpire.com. Today I am here to show you how to make this removable insert that will fit inside of a basic tote bag. It has six pockets and this was designed to coordinate with the retro tote which I made in a subsequent video tutorial. So I hope you'll check that out. It has a nice zipper on it and it's a good size. But this particular video is just for the insert. So shall we get started? Okay, so for this project, you're gonna need one large cotton rectangle, which measures 18 inches high by 30 inches long. You're going to need a piece of sew-in Pellon heavy um, stabilizer, which measures 16 and a half inches tall by 28 inches. With this larger cotton rectangle, go ahead and fold the two long ends over approximately a half an inch. And then you're going to um, position this heavy stabilizer inside of those folds. And you're gonna wanna center that so you have the same amount of fabric on the left and the right hand sides, which should be a little less than an inch or approximately an inch on either side. And then that folded edge just comes down like that. And then you carefully turn that over as not to lose that hem there. Everything's positioned. If you like, you can pin it, but you don't need to. Then you're going to fashion your pockets, which are crafted from another rectangle of fabric, which measures 16 inches tall by 30 inches wide. You do the same thing. Press down those long ends, approximately a half an inch, and then fold this in half. If your pattern has a clear right or wrong direction, you'll want to pay attention to that. The top edge of the pocket is going to be towards the center here. So like this would put my pattern running the wrong way. So I'm going to want to turn it over and I'm approximately three quarters of an inch up from the base. This is the folded edge here down at the bottom. And this would be center, so it's just a smidgen below center. Want to make sure everything's nice and even. And then I'm gonna pin this in place. And this is when you're really capture all of those layers and that stabilizer will be secured to that base panel there. So the first thing is to stitch across the bottom and attach the pocket to this base. Then you're going to divide your pockets equally. So that will result in one, two, three, four, five, six pockets and you're going to stitch down that pocket layer to create those individual pockets. All right, so now I have secured the pocket and now I wanna go back and divide this pocket panel to create the individual smaller pocket. Okay, I've stitched across the bottom and I've segmented this larger pocket into smaller pockets. Now, my pockets down here towards the left, I want to fold this in half and align those edges.
and on the inside are my pockets. And what I want to do is just finagle this down back to the center point so that those base hems are aligned again. I have this all neat, neat, nice, neat, and tidy. And you can see the pockets are on the inside of this. And now what I want to do is just stitch all the way around the base to attach those two pieces together. And then if you like, you can top stitch across the top, but you don't have to. And the easiest way to do that is to remove the machine deck and then start at the side seam and go ahead and, and fold those seams over. You'll want to back stitch at the beginning and the end. All right, and now I have a great little purse organizer, great little pocket organizer there with one, two, three, four, five, six interior pockets. And that will just slip right inside of um, the retro tote, which I made in another video, or most basic totes this will fit. It's a, a good size. And can you see now my bag has pockets in it. So thank you so much for sewing with me. It was a pleasure as always. Until we meet again, please know the creative genius in me salutes the creative genius in you. Have a beautiful day, everyone.